Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this video, I will be discussing thrombin inhibitors. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little quiz to test your understanding of some of the key facts I'll be covering. So be sure to stay for that. And if you have our Level Up RN pharmacology flashcards, go ahead and pull out your flashcard on thrombin inhibitors so you can follow along with me and pay close attention to the bold red text on the back of the card because those are the things that you are likely to get tested on. Thrombin inhibitors are a class of anticoagulants that are used to prevent the formation of blood clots. Medications that fall within this class include the Bigatran, which is brand name Perdaxa, and Argatraban, which is brand name Acoba. The Bigatran is used in the prevention and treatment of blood clots, such as a deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, as well as a pulmonary embolism, or PE. Argatraban provides anticoagulation in patients with HIT which stands for heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. This is a disorder that causes a decrease in platelets, but an increased risk of blood clots. As the name implies, thrombin inhibitors inhibit or block thrombin, which is a key enzyme in the blood clotting process. By blocking thrombin, this prevents the conversion of fibrinogen, which is a key clotting factor, into fibrin and this in turn prevents the formation of blood clots. As with other anticoagulants, the key side effect of thrombin inhibitors is bleeding. In addition, this drug class carries a black box warning due to the increased risk for spinal or epidural hematomas in patients undergoing spinal procedures. In terms of nursing care, you're gonna to want to take measures to prevent bleeding in your patient. These things are super important to know in nursing school, so let's go through them now. Signs of bleeding include bruising, emesis or vomit that looks like coffee grounds, black or tarry stools, and hematuria, which is the presence of blood in the urine. As the nurse, you want to limit vena punctures and injections whenever possible, and when they can't be avoided, you want to use the smallest needle size possible. And then depending on your facility's policy, you also want to implement fall precautions for your patient because if they were to fall while taking a thrombin inhibitor, this can result in serious bleeding. In terms of patient teaching, you should advise your patient to use a soft bristled toothbrush as opposed to a firmer toothbrush and to use an electric razor as opposed to a straight razor. In addition, you should make sure your patient understands that they should seek immediate medical attention following any kind of head trauma, because this can result in intracranial bleeding, which can be life-threatening. All right, it's quiz time, and I have three questions for you. Question number one, what is the mode of action of the Bigatran? The answer is it inhibits thrombin, which prevents the activation of fibrinogen, which is a key clotting factor, which prevents clot formation. Question number two, what is the key side effect of thrombin inhibitors? The answer is bleeding. And question number three, why would a patient taking a thrombin inhibitor need to be placed on fall precautions? The answer is because we want to avoid any falls or injuries that can result in bleeding. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button. Take care and good luck with studying. We invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. And if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what you found to be particularly helpful.